Is your dog tearing up your house? Are they chewing at your baseboards and scratching at your walls and just destroying any and everything they can get their mouths on? Well, I've got three simple steps that I'm gonna tell you how to get your dog to stop doing these things. But first, I wanna tell you, it's just been on my mind. The reason I'm doing this video is because I have been in some groups online and you know, people ask questions all the time and I see so many people asking questions. How do I get my dog to stop fill in the blank? Whether it's, you know, tearing up the house, chewing on the baseboards, um, just any and everything you can think of. How do I get my dog to stop doing these things? And it is driving me absolutely crazy because the number one suggestion I have, I see people posting on these questions online and I need to be paying attention to my dog but I'm trying to talk to you so the number one suggestion people are posting is to put their dog in a crate that's what you need to do to get your dog to stop doing whatever it is they're doing you don't want them to be doing and it's driving me absolutely insane because that's just a band-aid guys I know that there are benefits to crate training I know there are benefits to crate training, and I can teach you how to crate train your dog. That's not a problem, but we don't want to put a band-aid on the problem. We want to actually figure out what's going on with your dog, why they're acting the way they're acting, why they're performing the behavior that you don't want them to be doing, and we need to fix that. We don't just want to put a band-aid on it and, and lock them in a crate. So crate training can be beneficial. I can teach you how to crate train your dog. And there are instances where, yes, it's gonna be a good thing for you to have your dog in a crate for short periods of time. But really the three things you want to do, there are three really simple steps. I'm gonna tell them to you right now to get your dog to stop doing whatever this behavior is that you, you want them to stop doing. The first thing you need to do is dog proof your house. You want to control the environment that you and your dog live in. For example, if your dog is chewing on your shoes, then you want to not leave your shoes lying around. Maybe close the door to your closet so your dog doesn't have access to them. It's very similar to baby proofing your house, but you want to dog proof your house. If there's something your dog is getting into and you don't want them to get into it, lift it up, lock it off, put it away, make sure your dog can't get to it. So dog proofing your house is number one. Number two, is to provide them with chew toys. Chew toys are great, and I really love Kongs, for example. Um, Westpaw makes some really great chew toys. You wanna have something that you can give your dog to occupy them and entertain them that they can play with on their own. But third, and this is the most important thing, what I wanna tell people, this is really where they um, lack the most is in exercising your dog. It's one of the most important things you can do with your dog. I always tell every one of my clients that a tired dog is a good dog. If you are playing with your dog two, three, four times a day, you're doing really, really good. 15 to 20 minutes minimum every play session. Um, puppies are gonna need a lot more exercise. They're gonna need a lot more play time. And if your dog is still full of energy and ready to go when you're done playing, then guess what guys, you're not done playing. <laughs> so a tired dog is gonna be a good dog. So that's the third thing I wanna tell you. Please play with your dogs, exercise your dogs, get that energy out in a healthy, productive manner so that they're not getting their energy out on the things that you find valuable, like your furniture or your baseboards or anything else in your house. So those are the three key steps. The only other thing, I do want to mention is that you you do want to check and make sure uh, you want to evaluate your dog make sure they don't have separation anxiety but that is a totally uh, other video but no matter what guys exercise and play with your dog that, that those three things that I just told you those are gonna be the three keys to getting your dog to stop whatever behavior it is that you want them to stop if you have a question, post it in the Facebook group. Uh, you can always check out all of my online training on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link for that below. And I actually have a full course on dog obedience training. You can check that out at thefurryfamilycoach.com if you and your dog need some more training. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.